Either my fellow YouTubers and my fellow Twitter followers, this is another Lucid Dream vlog I title Tupac. <laughs> now, this this dream is a two in one dream. I went to bed at around 6 a.m. after listening to Coast to Coast AM, the radio show that deals with all the paranormal uh, phenomena and all that stuff. So I ended up waking up at uh, 7.57 a.m. And the thing is that before this, I was full of ideas. Before I went to bed, I was full of ideas. It was just, you know, all the, the uh, ideas were flowing and I felt great. I didn't set out to dream about Tupac. Um, it just sort of happened. So all of a sudden, as I'm going to bed, I'm falling asleep, and then all of a sudden I realized I'm in my dream. So I'm looking around, and I'm, I'm on a street corner, and it's dark. It's just anywhere I looked, no, there was nobody around. You could see the buildings, and there was a sense of eeriness for some reason. Not really sure why. And then all of a sudden, I could hear somebody singing a song or rapping to a song. I thought that was kind of strange because nobody was around. So I am going towards the music. So I'm, I'm, I'm kind of, you know, jogging, you know, trying to see where that music is coming from. Because that, the, the, the music was known to me. It was none other than a Tupac song. And the thing was that as I'm running, I look and I could see the, um, the back of the individual who was singing the Tupac song. And it was none other than Tupac. <laughs> and I'm thinking, what? I'm following him. And then I'm looking. I'm looking around and I'm, I end up in a dark alley and I don't see anybody. I'm like thinking, where did he go? So I was in this dark alley and all of a sudden I was cornered by four shadow-like, uh, I guess, shadow persons, if you will. And they were approaching me. They were coming closer to me. I wasn't panicking, but the thing is that I kind of knew that they were up to no good. Okay. So the thing is that they were ready to attack me, and <laughs> I asked for help. I, I just went like this. I asked for help. And I, I guess I flexed my muscles or something in, in, the, in this dream. And then all of a sudden, it, it, like I said, it's, it's, a, it's a weird dream. These branches or vines started coming out of my chest and just basically wrapping themselves around these four shadow persons. So just as they were trying to get to me, it was as if I was preventing them from attacking me and then it just basically slammed them each of them into the wall and it was holding them at the wall so they couldn't move so they couldn't attack me out of the shadows comes uh, comes this guy that looked like Tupac but I wasn't really sure I because in, in the first part of the the dream I only saw the, the back of this figure but he seemed to know Tupac's song and it sounded like him so he says I knew you were going to do that and I just kinda shrugged and I thought to myself the best thing for me to do is leave I don't know what it was but I just said back away so I backpedaled now from there the dream changes now I title this the second part of it Angry Spirit. Now the scene changes to where 
I appear in an, ab an abandoned house. It looks it's like an old house and I'm in the basement and all of a sudden I could feel uh, a presence in the room and the thing is that it was not too pleasant it was an eerie feeling and I could see the spirit and it looked really angry and it was it was kind of freaky because it was like you know when you see a ghost and they were all in white and pale and they, they just had that scary look like it was really really sp it was really spooky because that look was piercing you know when somebody looks at you and they just give you the the look and it was just like piercing my soul it was like eek so she came towards me and she was floating towards me and attacking me it was like spiritual warfare if you will and it was just, it was like being clawed. And I could feel it. It was just like, oh my gosh. I, I, part of me wanted to get out of this dream, this lucid dream. And I, I just said, no, nah, man. But then I said to myself, no, no, no. This is your lucid dream. You can take it, you can take control. And that is what I did. During this fight, I wasn't, I wasn't fighting back. I was just like kind of dodging the attack. And, and the thing is that I managed to calm down the spirit. I don't know how. I just, I was, it was like as, as if I was saying it in my mind. Relax. I go, what are you doing? Uh, there's no reason to attack me. So then eventually she started to calm down. She started to calm down and then it was as if I gained her trust. This angry spirit was explaining to me why she was angry, why she was attacking people or whomever was in this house. So the thing is that when she was explaining this, I felt her pain in this dream. I felt um, a lot of sadness. So what I ended up doing in this dream, I shined a light on her. Not a flashlight or anything like that. It was an internal light from me, coming from me, and I shined it on her because apparently there was a lot of darkness around her. So I was shining this light at her, and then all of a sudden, it's, she's, it, the darkness around her started to change. So I basically said to her in this dream, it's okay, you don't have to hold on to these negative uh, uh, thoughts, these negative feelings that you have. It's okay to cross over so you can go now. And then all of a sudden, like I said, that light just engulfed her in a positive manner and she crossed over. I have to say, this was very deep. It was a very deep dream because I could feel the sadness. I was just in awe when I woke up from this dream I was just wow I was just in awe so that has been another lucid dream vlog peace and have a good one